Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at question 623, add one row to tree. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by using recursion. And there are two key things that you need to understand before solving the problem itself. So at the level that we see, we will be looking at D for that. So if you want to add something to the current level, that would be one, current level one. But if it means like, hey, um, the next level, I want to add something to the next level, that level will be represented by D equals two. So for example, here in example one, we have D equals two. So which means that you we have four, we don't do it right here, but you add that to the next level, one and one. So as long as you understand that, it becomes simpler. So let's jump right in. So let's handle two test cases, right? Um, when I say test cases, I mean base cases. So if D is equal to one, that means we need to add that to the current level. So what you need to do is you need to create a new node, new tree node with the current value V that has to be added. The left, the, uh, the, the left node of this new node will be the root node that's given to us and then you would return uh, null since you don't really uh, have a right node so what this basically means is that hey if the level that we are adding at is like level one you're creating a new node and initializing the root that you have to the left node and everything else is taken care of and you just return as is so that's a f uh, the first base case the second bit base case that you need to take care of is if d is equal to 2. If d is equal to 2, what does that mean? That means you're adding to the next level and you have access to the tree node right now. So what that means is that you need to update the left node and the right node of the root uh, the root node that you're looking at right now. So root dot left would be equal to new tree node with v as a value the left node would actually be the the original left node of the root and the right would be null and you would do the same for the right as well you need to update the right node of the the root that you're looking at and the way you're um, initializing it is that hey like you know what the new right node will actually be a new tree node with the value b and then the left node would be null and the right node would be the old right node that we had on the tree so those are the two base cases that you need to cover for everything else all you need to do is you just need to call this method recursively by uh, decrementing the uh, d so it would be if root dot left it's not equal to null you would just say hey you know what let's call this method again um yeah and you would just send the left node to that and you would send v as is and you would decrement the by one and you will do the same for the right node as well right and right so in the end, since we have to uh, return the root node, you would just return the root in the end. Awesome. So let's quickly compile this and see if it's okay. The first test case is okay. Everything else is okay as well. Perfect. So let's quickly talk about the, uh, the space and the time complexity. The time complexity of the solution is of, and since we might have to iterate through all of the nodes uh, in the given tree, our space complexity is also of, and since we are using recursion, and um, all of those uh, recursive calls would be would stack up. Right, so that's the solution. If you have any questions about the solution, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that. And if there are any other questions on LeetCode that you want me to solve, also let me know in the comments below. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, peace.